السلام علیکم اینڈ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ویورس ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اے نیو ٹاپک اینڈ دا ٹاپک از ایفیکٹ آف اسٹوریج آن بلڈ سیل مفالوجی از وی نو دیٹ وی ہیو ڈفرینٹ ٹائپ آف سیلز اینڈ ٹیوب وچ ہیو آلریڈی اینٹی کاگولینٹ like EDTA or heparin or sodium citrate but the most important when we deal with the complete blood count and we are making some peripheral blood smear so we are dealing with the anticoagulant and that anticoagulant is known as EDTA so we can observe some different types of uh, effects Uh, or we call it some changes in the white blood cell morphology or some uh, changes in the red blood cell morphology uh, as well. So, uh, like if, we, uh, if a blood film is allowed to stand in the laboratory uh, before films are made or uh, some peripheral smear are made, some degenerative changes occur. And uh, these changes are not due to the presence of an anticoagulant for they also occur in defibrinated blood as well. So, uh, irrespective of anticoagulant, uh, films made from blood which has been uh, standing for not more than one or at room temperature are not easily uh, distinguished from films which have been uh, made immediately after blood collection of blood, after collection of the blood. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, by three or changes may be uh, observed, uh, but these are not so uh, striking changes. Uh, but after 12 to 8 or they, these uh, become striking. And uh, some, but not all neutrophils are affected. Uh, like uh, the changes which observe in the uh, neutrophil, the nuclei may stand more homogeneously than in fresh blood. Uh, their nuclear lobes may become separated and the cytoplasm margins may appear uh, ragged or less well defined. Uh, small vacuoles appear in the cytoplasm. And uh, on the other hand, the other cell like uh, a monocyte, we can observe some changes over there. Uh, some or many of the large monocytes develop marked changes. Uh, small vacuoles appear in the cytoplasm and the nucleus undergo irregular lobulation which may almost uh, amount to disintegration. And uh, the third and most uh, important cell, a lymphocyte, undergo similar changes. A few vacuoles may be seen in the cytoplasm. The nuclei stand uh, more homogeneously than usual and uh, in some, the nucleus undergo budding give rise to nuclei with two or three lobes. Uh, these changes must be distinguished from uh, apoptosis, uh, which is natural cell degradation owing to the programmed cell death. So these were the changes observed in the white blood cell, like uh, neutrophil, uh, lymphocyte, and, and monocyte. While in uh, normal red cells are little affected by standing for up to six or at room temp temperature. Uh, longer periods uh, leads to progressive crenation in the morphology of the red blood cell, and uh, some sphering are also observed uh, within the axis of EDTA. A marked degree of creation, uh, creation uh, crenation occur within a few hours and uh, all the above changes are retarded but not abolished in blood kept at 4 degrees centigrade. So their occurrence underlines the importance of making film as soon as possible after withdrawal uh, but delay up uh, to 1 to 3 hour or uh, so it's certainly uh, permissible. For red blood cells, where possible, the practice of making films of blood before it is added to an anticoagulant is to be recommended, and especially when screening for lead toxicity, as the granules of uh, punctuate basophilia may be seen less obviously in anticoagulated blood. So, in fresh blood films, however, the platelets usually clump, and it is less easy to uh, estimate the platelets count from inspection of the films. Such films are nevertheless of particular value in the investigation patients suffering from purpura as in certain rare condition the absence of platelet clumping is useful uh, pointer to the diagnosis. 
So these are some changes which can be found in white blood cells, uh, red blood cells and platelets. But uh, an expert, I can observe these all changes and uh, with the, the morphological changes or some degenerative changes, you have to look toward the white blood cell count uh, or other secondary causes uh, rather than these changes. So these are the important changes which can be observed uh, by an expert eye in a laboratory. Other changes take place when blood is allowed to stand in wet at room temperature like we kept a blood uh, in an in anticoagulated blood uh, uh, in a laboratory uh, with temperature of 18 to 25 degrees centigrade or more rapidly at higher ambient temperature. So uh, the most important anticoagulant used in the laboratory is EDTA and uh, you all know that EDTA uh, uh, greater in the tripotassium salt than in the dipotassium salt of EDTA. So so the red cells uh, start swelling uh, with the, the result uh, that the PCV and MCV increases. So osmotic fragility uh, slowly increase and the sedimentation rate decrease. Uh, the first change observe in the red blood cell. Where on the other hand the leukocyte and platelets count gradually fall. And if the blood is kept at 4 degrees centigrade, there is no significant changes in PCV and MCV uh, for up to 24 or uh, but uh, other changes to take place more slowly at this temperature so that for many purpose blood may be safely uh, be allowed to stand overnight in the refrigerator if precautions against freezing are taken. And uh, uh, like uh, uh, in order to ensure homogeneity of the blood, it is essential that the specimen are effectively mixed immediately prior to taking sample for testing or uh, if we kept it in 44 40 degrees centigrade, so it will be investigated and the blood should be allowed to warm up to room temperature before mixing and uh, if we allow these um, samples, so we have to uh, mix it or for almost two minutes or invert the tube 8 to 10 time by uh, hand. So these are some changes which can be observed and uh, because of these changes we have some quantitative effects on the red blood cells and as well on the white blood cells. So this was the topic effect of st uh, storage on blood cell morphology. So there are certain effects which uh, we can um, divide into three different categories uh, like uh, uh, white blood cells we observe some degenerative changes while in red blood cells we have some crenation or uh, increased uh, PCV or MCV and in platelets we observe some um, clumping uh, on the smear or in the uh, tube. So thank you very much for listening the video. Uh, inshallah the Urdu version of this video will be uploaded soon. Thank you very much for watching the video and uh, for those students who have still not subscribed the channel so please do subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.